Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. With various businesses undergoing changes, Huawei has attracted much attention from the outside world. At the same time, we look forward to more good news from Huawei and the return of the king as soon as possible. These expectations include chips, 5G networks, and ice-breaking development of various businesses. Due to well-known reasons, this technology company has been repeatedly suppressed by the United States since 2019. The United States does not allow TSMC to manufacture chips for it, and then does not allow American chip companies to supply it with 5G mobile phone chips, 5G radio frequency chips, etc. Almost all chips related to 5G are limited in supply. Under such difficult circumstances, the technology company has not stopped research and development. It is reported that the R&D investment in 2022 will be as high as 160 billion yuan, which is in a leading position among many companies in the world. It actively replaces American chips with self-developed chips. But the greater the expected value, the false news also took advantage of it. News began to appear on the internet that Huawei's chip stacking broke through 7 nanometers and won 400 billion support funds, which made many people confused and difficult to distinguish between true and false. Huawei officially responded to this. The news on the internet is mixed, and sometimes it is possible to be misinterpreted infinitely because of a single sentence from a certain person. What's more, fake and shoddy, published speeches from the official perspective guide the public's attention and gain traffic and attention. These phenomena are not uncommon on the internet, and some people believe it to be true, and then inform more people of the news. People who don't understand the reason will probably let it go, so fake news will become true news, because when the awareness of news reaches a certain amount, rumors will spread wildly. Just like the continuous rumors on the internet that Huawei's chip stacking technology has been successfully developed, two 14 nanometers chips can be stacked into a 7 nanometers chip to achieve a greater performance breakthrough. It is estimated that many people have seen this news and rumors. In fact, since 2020, there have been discussions on chip stacking on the internet. The core idea is nothing more than combining two chips into a brand new chip, so as to achieve the effect of doubling the performance. In response to this rumor, Huawei officially responded, saying that the news is a rumor. Those who have some knowledge of chip functions know that it is very difficult to superimpose two chips. It is not known whether the performance can be doubled, but the power consumption will definitely be doubled. Making a chip with huge power consumption has violated the original intention of reducing chip power consumption, and it is impossible to go back. There is also how to overcome the size of the chip. Today's chip manufacturers are reducing the size of the chip, making the chip smaller, and putting it into a limited space to improve the performance of the device terminal. If you can't solve the size problem of the chip stack, it is better to continue to use a single chip. Chip stacking technology does exist, but it is not as outrageous as rumors on the internet. If you think about it, you can understand that it is simply unrealistic to superimpose two 14 nanometers chips on a 7 nanometers chip. If this is the case, doesn't it mean that TSMC can break through to 1 nanometer and below by superimposing two 3 nanometers chips? Then it would be good to fully develop chip stacking technology. And there's no need to spend a lot of money on research on 2 nanometers, 1 nanometer, and other high end chips. 
In addition to 7 nanometers chip stacking, there is another rumor that Huawei has attracted attention, that is, Huawei has received 400 billion yuan in support funds. It is said that this support fund is for Huawei to develop chips and solve various problems. This rumor is even more outrageous. The 400 billion yuan has exceeded Huawei's half-year revenue. Last year, Huawei's sales were 636.9 billion yuan. Such sales are in line with Huawei's expected performance. Among them, Huawei has 140 billion yuan for R&D investment, which is a very large expenditure. If Huawei receives a support fund of 400 billion yuan, what kind of huge funding will it be? But the reality is that Huawei has not received a support fund of 400 billion yuan, let alone a support plan for this amount. It is not easy for all walks of life under the epidemic. There is more than one company that has received special attention from the United States. Therefore, if there is such a support plan with so much money, it will be shared and loans will be provided at low or no interest. It is impossible. Give away directly. There are many places that need to spend money, and it is unfair to other companies to concentrate on one company, let alone what effect it can achieve, and it will inevitably be criticized by others. Whether it is news about 7 nanometers chip stacking or 400 billion support funds, as long as you have the ability to distinguish right from wrong, you can basically judge the authenticity of the news. Just because there are too many people involved in the topic discussion, and the expectations for Huawei are very high, so as long as there is good news related to Huawei, misunderstandings will naturally occur. Just like the previous news on the internet that the Kirin chip will return in 2023, this news was also refuted by Huawei. There are also rumors that Huawei will sell the mobile phone business as a whole, that Huawei will build cars in person, and so on. There are countless similar rumors, all of which are fake news. Huawei needs a stable market and operating environment. Whether it is the industrial chain market or the focus of public opinion, as long as we remain objective, and do not blindly listen to false news or spread rumors. It is a kind of support for Huawei. It is a good thing that Huawei has enough expectations, so that Huawei can receive more attention and support when releasing new products, and provide real help to Huawei. As for the groundless false news on the internet, it is time to stop spreading rumors. Some rumors may not be dispelled by Huawei in person, so they spread more and more outrageously, disturbing the public's vision and affecting the market rhythm. These are the negative effects of rumors. Huawei needs everyone's support, but this kind of support must be positive and rational, not a bluff of empty slogans.